two boxes. Box number one and box number two. And box number one. Box number one is 12 kilogram and box number two is 10 kilogram. And they are connected by a rope. And there is a force acting on box number two. Newton. This is of course frictionless, no friction. What we try to find the acceleration and the tension force. There is a tension force over here. So we want to find the tension force and we want to find the acceleration in the whole system. The tension force over here and tension force over here will not be the same. Tension force over here is equal to 40. Newton, but tension force over here has to be the less than 40 Newton, which we'll of course find out. Um, so let's draw the force diagram first. So this is our M1, and this is our M2. So this is M1, this is M2. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is FZ, and this is FN, this is FT. Okay, so I'm gonna write an equation out of these forces. At the y direction, there is no acceleration, so we're not gonna care about the forces at the y direction. So F is equal to MA. So FT is equal to M1A. Okay, now let's draw the full diagram over here. FG, FN, FP, and FT. So once again, F equal to MA. So Y direction, we don't care Y direction because Y direction there is no acceleration in the direction. How many forces? FP minus FT is equal to M2. Now we're gonna replace this one. We're gonna FT instead of FT, you're gonna write M1A. Okay, so put the M1A over here. That's exactly what we're gonna do now. FP minus M1A is equal to M2A. So FP is equal to M1A plus M2A. So common factor is A. So FP is equal to A, M1 plus M2. So A is equal to FP M1 plus M2. So A is equal to 40 Newton over M1 is 12 plus M2 is 10. So 40 over 22 by 8 to 1, 8 to 1. Repeating. Now we're going to find the FT. So many ways to find FT. We can find FT using this equation. So FT is equal to this FT. This FT. FT is equal to M1, M1 is 12, A is 1.8181 times 12 is equal to 21.81. FT is 21.81 Newton. So this one is, this one is, this FT is 21.81 Newton. Okay. We can find this FT many other ways. <laughs> now we can find this, this one, the proof this one that FP is proof and P is one Newton. So which one, which equation you want to use? Let's use this equation. FP is, so <laughs> FP A M1 plus M2. So FP is 1.8181, 12 plus 10. So FP 1.8181, 22. FP is 14 meters. I think I won, right?
Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.